Hello, my dears. So, for last two three lectures, we discussed about the uh, steady state limit and steady state stability. And <clears throat> the steady state stability is for what? Whenever the system is subjected to very small disturbance, and the system regain its stability after very after very fraction of seconds of time, that is called the steady state stability. So, we discussed what are the factors affecting the steady state stability, especially the rotor angle and uh, how can we what uh, find or how can we find the what oscillation or how can we find the stability criteria and all we discuss it now we are going to discuss about methods to improve the steady state stability that means how can we improve even we know that we know that there will be some steady state problems right there will be some small disturbance in the power system which is unavoidable but how can we improve the steady state stability even though there is a disturbance, how can we improve or how can we resolve that uh, disturbance as soon as possible? What are the possible ways that we are going to discuss? Okay. The basic equation for the P max, my dear, P max is nothing but maximum power in a transmission line. The maximum power carrying capacity of a transmission line is nothing but P max is equal to EV divided by X, <coughs> where E is nothing but excitation E of. V is nothing but terminal EM of terminal voltage and X is nothing but my dear reactance. This is nothing but inductive reactance. Reactance in the sense of inductive reactance. So this is the uh, basic equation for what my dear the maximum power handled by the transmission line. So disturbance is actually subjected to or disturbance will be occur here actually in the maximum power or the power capability or power carrying capability of a transmission line in which we are giving disturbance okay in which we are giving disturbance we are not giving disturbance to the alternator normally the alternator is at a, at its right specification all the time but the disturbances are normally occurred in the transmission line Okay, in the load side or the transmission line will be the maximum possible chances of disturbance, not in, uh, in the case of alternator. We, ca we can't vary the speed, the speed is said to be a constant speed, the fuel injection is constant, see, the frequency is almost constant all the time, see, the fault or the disturbance occurring at the generator terminal or at the alternator side is very less actually, <coughs> very less. So, how can we improve? The P max is the answer for how to improve the steady state stability. Correct? We can. How can we improve this P max? That's all. How can we improve P max, my dear? First step. First step to improve steady state stability. What we, What are the points we have to note it down? First one. Increase excitation. Am I right? If I am increasing the excitation, then its excitation EMF will be what? Increased. That means the machine or the alternator is subjected to what? Over excited condition. So if you prefer the over excited condition, then definitely E will be higher and definitely what? The P match will be higher. But it is not practically that much we are doing. Over excited case. No? that we are not doing. We are dealing on the transmission line normally. Okay. So, next point. Next method to improve the uh, steady state limit is nothing but <coughs> reduce reduce reactants. This is very very important term idea. Very very important. Reduce reactants or we should decrease L. We should decrease L. What we have to do for doing such a decrease in L. So, decrease in L. How can we decrease L? First of all, what are the factors affecting the L? We have to note it down. What are the factors affecting the uh, L? We have to note it down. First one, use bundled conductor. So, what is the what is the use of bundled conductor? If you are using bundled conductor, definitely there will be cancellation of inductance due to the neighboring conductor. So, okay, so the effective L will be reduced. 
if l will be reducible means x will be reducible means the p max will be increased p max will be what my dear increased and next point is use double circuit line or parallel lines parallel lines so if you are using double circuit line it is type of it is a short version of bundled conductor na? it is a small version of bundled conductor if you are using a double line or a parallel lines what we the inductance due to neighboring will be automatically cancelled out and the effective inductance will be reduced and next method is nothing but my dear use bundled conductor use double circuit line and next one is use series compensation so what is mean by this series compensation series compensation is nothing but my dear add capacitance in series with the transmission line so that the effect of inductance can be what neutralized see my dear so what is the next use means use of series compensation so it is very important actually this term is very very important series compensation is used to increase the power of handling capacity so what is actually series compensation the problem of the what uh, reduced the problem of the reduced power handling is nothing but increased reactance so how can we reactance means nothing but my dear in predominantly in transmission line the reactance referred to the inductance only the effect of capacitance is actually very less there so maximum problem is happening problems are happening due to the inductance so we have to reduce the inductance now so what is the option we have to seriously connect some capacitor so that net inductive effect will be neutralized by the capacity effect it is similar to that of an rlc series circuit so xl is equal to xc1 but at that time maximum power will be transferred the power transfer capability increases. the same thing here also you can apply so add a capacitor in series with the transmission line transmission line so that the effect of the inductance can be neutralized so these are the possible three ways my dear three ways and one more very very important way is there that we are using modern power to system in order to improve the power handling capacity we will just discuss now so the next method it's very very important my dear third method is very very important use of SVC static VAR compensators it's very very important my dear static VAR compensator so what is mean by static VAR compensator I will tell you now So what is mean by static voltage compensator I will tell you. Static VAR compensators are nothing but these are the components or circuit to deliver active power. to the system or to the supply 
and not absorb any active power from the supply. So static power common center is nothing but my dear. These are the circuitry. These are consist of some power electronic circuitry. That power electronic circuitry consists of what? What is the function of the circuitry? You, it, it will deliver some amount of active power. That means whenever here is the starting end or sending end my dear and this is the receiving end. Sending end voltage is E angle delta and receiving voltage V angle zero. So clearly from itself it is clear that E and V are not same. E and V are not same. It's varying. It's decreasing. Voltage drop will be there along the transmission line. So suppose you send a 230 volt here as the sending end voltage. The receiving end voltage may not be 230. It will be 200 or 190. The rest of the voltage will be what dropped across the transmission line. So what happens then? The poor voltage regulation will be the result, right? Sending end voltage and receiving end voltage. A large variation will be there. So voltage regulation will be very, very, very poor actually. So for avoiding that, there will be something in the transmission line which can which or which have the capability to inject some real power into the system so that the real power demand will be same that means what real power is transmitted here the same real power will be available across all the transmission line so that the voltage I mean regulation problem that can be minimized so these are nothing but mind it is similar to that another source this is a generator now this is like to be an another source which inducts real power into the supply and which no, which will not absorb any real power from the supply that is why it is similar to that of source i already saw it is similar to that of the source my dear so that's why it it will always deliver some reactive power it will not active power it will not absorb any active power from the supply that means it is a super system actually so how can we improve the power handling capacity of a transmission line by using the static weld common setter I will discuss now. Suppose my static VAR common setter, VR volt ampere reactive common setter or simply my dear this is another way we can say that I already said you know the inductance effect can, can be in, reduce the inductance effect. We have to seriously add some capacitor. The same thing automatically done depending upon at what value of capacitance it should be adjusted because so the transmission line now the, the power factor is not uniform all the time depending upon the load it may be vary so it continuously senses what power factor the capacitor i mean the transmission line is operating and what value of capacitor we have to add in series with the transmission line that things are happening automatically by using the static where work common setter simple simple so what is the function of a capacitor my dear what is the function of a capacitor it will supply the real re i mean real power it will it will supply it is similar to the real power it will supply na? so not exactly the capacitor function it will supply the real power that means the voltage shortage can i will tell you in different way i mean why the voltage is lag I mean less here due to the transmission line losses so we have to compensate for loss now so we have to inject some what voltage we have to inject some voltage so that the reduction can be minimized. So we have to inject some power. Voltage actually in the terms of we have to inject some extra energy. That energy will be provided with the static VR compensation. So mostly it will be like the form of a capacitor. Okay. Second more. If the inductive effect is very high in the transmission line, then also there will be what? The voltage regulation will be very high. Less. I mean the voltage regulation will be poor because I into XL will be very high. Then compared to I into R drop. So I into XL drop we have to minimize. For that we have to minimize XL now. For minimize XL what we have to do? We have to add some capacitor in series in order to oppose the uh, inductance by the capacitance. So the overall effect will be neglected. So there will be there will not be any that much effect of inductance. So that also can be done with SVC. So many many functions are there. Simply we have to uh, better or we have to maintain the voltage profile superb that is the main function of SVC so see my dear suppose I put my SVC static VR compensator middle of the transmission line. you imagine this is the transmission line having inductive reactance or simply reactance is X 
Suppose I put my SVC at the middle of the transmission line, then what happen? The reactance will be up to this will be x by 2 and the reactance up to this will be again x by 2 because inductance you uh, heard the equation of inductance of transmission line is nothing but 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d by r henry per meter so per meter it's that much so if length increasing proportionally the inductance also increases inductance also increases so up to some length it is x means the middle of the line it will be x by 2 and the rest will be x by 2 simple so if the transmission so what will be this middle of the transmission line what will be the power handling i mean what will be the power so the overall transmission line from here to here reduced by re reactance x by 2 here also reduced by x by 2 so that means that means two transmission lines of what x by 2 x by 2 <laughs> reactance will be we changed the total overall reactance x in previous case if you are injecting some svc in middle of the transmission line what happened it breaks the circuit into two it breaks the circuit into two one portion having x by 2 reactants another portion having x by 2 reactants so if the circuit having x by 2 reactants then what will be the p p max <coughs> p max is nothing but my dear ev divided by x by 2 which is nothing but 2 ev divided by x so which is nothing but 2 times so p dash will be equal to 2 times p max p dash mass will be 2 times p dash that means the overall power will be doubled how beautifully we what conclude right conclude right see so the power handling capacity doubled if you inject svc at the middle of the transmission line okay so anywhere you can place our svc for example i put it in middle is it clear so what will be <coughs> the power angle curve now delta and this will be our power then then without svc this will be and with svc this will be so it will be 2 into p max this will be p max this will be 90 right now this will be 90 okay so that will be the <coughs> that will be the result medium so that will be the change on ATD. so from the diagram itself it's clear that maximum power will be handled only at a del is equal to 90 there is no change in that i know that and here see my dear here see yes see the power handling capacity will be doubled now initially it was here it was here now it will be here so here in p max and now it will be 2 p max now so the power handling capacity also increased so this diagram is very helpful for finding that so in short my dear static wall compensator is another method to improve the steady state stability so these methods are very very important in which this is very very important because problems are based on this we will discuss now okay we will discuss in the next class how can we solve the problem regarding the svc and all we will discuss so svc is means it's a very big topic my dear so we don't want the theory of svc but we want how can we implement this svc in order to improve the voltage profile that only we have to okay that problem we will discuss later in the class okay so thank you so much